Hi, I'm at the Ginger Creek Garden today. It's July 5th, um, Sunday, July 5th. Today was our first day back to church. It was such a great day. I wanted to share with you today um, the story of the squash. Um, we seed started squash here in the garden like the second week of May, I think. We did three seeds of uh, black zucchini, black beauty zucchini, and yellow squash um, in the main garden here at Ginger Creek. And we neglected them and didn't water them very well. So they never germinated after like three weeks. So we did it again. We just started sowing three or four seeds in each hole and um, they started sprouting because we didn't neglect them and we started watering them. So lesson number one, water your seedlings. They cannot germinate without it. So lesson learned. Second thing, um, we went to um, Ace Hardware. They were having a sale on their plants. Each bucket was three seventy eight, dollars and I saw they had black beauty squash and yellow zucchini squash. So I wanted to get a couple of those. So I dug through every single one of their buckets and I made sure that every bucket I purchased had three plants in it or more. I got about 14 plants of black beauty zucchini and yellow squash for the price of four. <laughs> Lesson learned. And now I wanna share with you the difference in the planting environment that you put your squash in or any of your plants for that matter. I'm gonna show you these squash. This is pretty amazing. Where are they? Right there. Look at those things. These squash are like up to my waist. They're the variegated variety. Let me flip the camera. These are the variegated variety. The leaves are beautiful. They're huge. The stalks are thick they look like celery and look at all the yellow squash look at all them and then I have another plant back here that has some more zucchini or yellow squash on there so yeah that tomato he's probably not going to fare too well in this garden very much longer and neither is that little guy now these are just little bonus plants these are suckers that we rooted and planted in the ground. So if they survive, perfect. If not, we're, it's not gonna kill us. But I wanted to show you these because these look nothing like the ones in the main garden. I'm gonna walk you over to the main garden right now and take a look at the other ones. Okay, here we are in the main garden bed and none of these squash <laughs> this does not look like the same plant that I just showed you on the other side of the property over there. But it is because those two plants are the same plants that I got at Ace Hardware. I put two extra over there and then I put them in the holes that were not sprouting. And so the same plants that I got at Ace Hardware that are over there that are giants are not giants in this garden and the reason that is is because the soil that they're in the soil in the garden bed over there where they're giant is all miracle Grow garden soil this bed is earth first time use this year a little bit of horse manure that was broken down over about a three month period and some topsoil and it was tilled in and it's been fed now twice with some um, fish fertilizer but these squash they look nothing like the squash that we just looked at in the other bed. So I'm just trying to show you a comparison and what goes into your soil helps your, your fruit produce quicker. It's, it's a true fact of the matter. Look at these little babies. I mean, they're beautiful. They really are, they're healthy, they're perky. This is probably the biggest one we got. This guy, he's about a foot tall. No blossoms yet. We got a random eggplant another squash, some zinnias. These two holes right here in the garden bed, they get really flooded out when we water the tomatoes with the drip line. 
So that's why I put zinnias there. Um, oh, we had some blossoms on this one. I think that that might be a little too soon to blossom, but I've never grown squash, so we're going to take a look at what happens. You see some um, really dark dirt garden soil in these because there were so many sprouts coming out and multiple squash plants in these that I went ahead and pulled some out and we transplanted them. When you see a yellow leaf like this, you can go ahead and snip it off. What's that? A moth? Get off our zucchini, buddy. See, these are doing okay. They are just not as big as the ones in that other garden bed, which is kind of crazy. Then I got some. <laughs> We're going to see who wins this battle. Can anybody identify this? What this is and what this is? <laughs> I'll let you comment in the comments below. I did not see this one coming in when I transplanted this one in here. So take a guess. Here's a little another one. All by itself. Let's see. That might be a dandelion coming up. There's another squash and another squash. There's some more pretty zinnias. So I just wanted to share with you the difference in those giant zucchinis over there versus the zucchini and yellow squash in the main garden bed because of the soil that it's in. I actually went to my friend Laura's house. She has um, a garden in her yard. The, her dad used to have a garden in the back and it's not a raised bed but it's a sectioned off garden. He's been had that garden for years and years and years. So that soil is really well mended and tended to. So the same plants that I have in my garden and the same plants that we have behind me and the same plants that are in Laura's garden, they look like they're months apart in growth. Laura's plants are up to my rib cage right now and they're dark green, luscious, beautiful plants. But they're the same plants that are behind me. It just goes to show you again, the grow medium that you're growing your plants in really makes a difference. Now I cannot complain, like I said, this is a first time garden for this soil. So the more we garden in this bed year after year, the better it's gonna become. So that's all I wanted to share with you today, but please comment below on what you think those two things were popping up in that hole. Let's see who's gonna win the battle. Who do you think's gonna win that battle? I wish you the very best in your gardening adventures. Please comment below, like us, subscribe to us, and maybe we will see you in the next video. Take care. God bless.